Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Fundamentals of Web Development. I will be your instructor for this course. I am Adriel Genesonde, a full-stack software engineer, and my strength on the front end is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, materialized CSS, React, and of course, with Git and GitHub control. And my back-end skill includes Node.js Express, Python Flask, Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, amongst others. And today, we shall be looking at the fundamentals of web development. Our journey shall begin with HTML. And so the question is, what is HTML? HTML is a hypertext markup language. One key note that we must take home from here is that HTML as a markup language, it's not a programming language. It's not that kind of um, programming language with logics like JavaScript, Java, Python, and C, C Sharp, and the rest of them. So then what is it? It is meant to be representational, where you are able to represent your idea, what you want your clients to see on your web app. So therefore, we say it's a markup language for creating web pages and web documents. It's the building block of website. So HTML, like we have said, it's not a programming language, but a markup language for representing your ideas, the content that you want the client to see. And once you want to get started with developing a website, you need two basic things, one of which is a web browser and a text editor. The web browser is what we use to view the website during development and after development. Many of you must have been familiar with browsing over the internet using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari Edge, UC Browser, and the rest of them. Now, these are meant to render the HTML code that have been written for your web application. So in this course, we are going to stick to one so you could choose to use any of these that, are, that is listed on um, the, the presentation. Then we can also choose to use any of this test editor. The test editor basically is what we use in creating, in writing our code, in developing the website. One of which include the Sublime, you have the Atom, but we are going to stick to Visual Studio. There are some others like Bracket, Notepad comes cheap with your Windows. If you have Windows and if you have Mac, it's called, it's called Test Mate. All right, so when creating an HTML page, uh, we must know a few things that HTML does not need a server, right? You heard me right, it doesn't need a server. So what that means is um, we could basically just render the HTML code we have written on our website by just double-clicking on the document. And as a take-home package, Whenever we are creating an HTML document, we must make do to end with .html. The dot that comes after the name of the website, right? It could be um, app.html, it could be uh, sony.html, but that .html, we call it the extension, the file extension. It's what it's used to identify that this is actually an HTML document. And HTML basically runs in a web browser, we must have said that before. And going forward, index.html is usually the root homepage for every website. All right, now let's talk about the syntax of HTML. And the first thing we are going to consider is a tag. What is a tag? A tag is basically what is used as one of the basic building blocks of creating content in your HTML. Um, we have the h1 tag, we have the p tag, we have the bracket tag, and element names must be surrounded by this anchor bracket. Normally it comes in pairs, start and end, and in between is the content. So when we have 
in the um, opening tag and closing tag and the um, content in between, we call it an HTML element. Okay, I think that will be enough for now. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.